So I'm gonna adjust this screen a little bit. I'm trying a different angle here, and hopefully we can see the kitchen and everything. So anyways, these chocolate chip cookies are by far the best chocolate chip cookies ever. You know, and I'm not just saying that because it's my mom's, and I'm not gonna tell you that I make the best cookies and all that, but chocolate chip cookies, you are gonna want to have this recipe. So let me check the oven to make sure. Okay, we got the oven preheated at 375 degrees, and we're gonna go ahead and start working on uh, all the ingredients and stuff. But before we do that, I need you to do me a favor and I'm having trouble seeing it's so bright in here. There we go. I need everybody to hit the subscribe button for me. You like my little video? <laughs> kind of worked kind of hard to get that on here. So anyways, if you can do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Later on, I'm going to be taking calls through Zoom and I'm going to put the link over in the uh, YouTube live comments right over on this side. So if you can't see it, you need to hit the live chat button. That way you can see the link and you can do the you or the Zoom call so you can call me and we can chat about stuff while we're waiting for the cookies. And we already have a couple of comments. So Jim and Kyle, thank you for joining me. Michael, you too. Uh, oh, Julie, you're using Michael's account. I appreciate all you guys joining me. So let's get down to cooking, uh, cookie making. And Kyle, I hope you have uh, your girlfriend there and she can write this down. This recipe is in the cookbook. So make sure you uh, buy that and I'll promote that in a little bit. We're going to start. I just went ahead and threw it in here so I didn't have more dishes to do. This is two cups of Crisco. So I put that directly into the bowl already. Now, something about Crisco. Apparently, it's only an American thing. Who knew, right? I grew up, we always did Crisco. And I asked a couple people if they could pick up some Crisco for me when they went to the grocery store. I had a Kiwi and a Brit. Both of them said, no problem. I'll get it for you. What's Crisco? And so I had to explain that to them. So for those of you that are not Americans, Crisco is a solid vegetable shortening. So essentially think about vegetable oil, but it's solid. Um, I have done some um, research and you can actually, I apologize for the light from this uh, hatch right here, but you can actually substitute butter in direct relation to Crisco. Just beware the consistency is gonna come out a little different because Crisco is 100% solid fats where butter is only 85%, the other 15% is water. So you're adding more water to it and it's gonna come out just a slightly different. So anyways, let's move on. So we got the Crisco in here. We're gonna add one and a half cups of just white sugar. So one and a half cups of sugar, boom, there that goes in there. And I'm gonna do the same amount of brown sugar. Now down here, we get the drier brown sugar. It's kind of like sugar in the raw. I prefer the wet brown sugar, but sometimes I can't always get that. But brown sugar, cup and a half of that. In that goes. And this recipe I'm giving you is actually going to make seven to eight dozen cookies. I know that's a lot of cookies, but tonight I've got several boats coming over for a cookie party. So excited about that. Normally I do about half of this, but this is what's in my recipe. And I actually cut this down by a quarter or more from what my mom usually makes. My mom and dad make, I don't know, gosh, they must, I don't know, I have no idea. They must make a gross of cookies. I mean, like 12 dozen, 16 dozen at a time. They freeze it and put it in the freezer. And my mom thought that was a great idea growing up. We're going to put four eggs in right now. She thought that was a great idea growing up, having frozen cookie dough. So whenever we needed cookie dough for school projects or something like that, she could just whip them out to thaw them, start cooking them. What she didn't realize, let me tell you guys, frozen cookie dough is awesome. All three of us boys and my dad would eat all the cookie dough frozen. Just take a knife, carve a chunk out, eat it direct like that. It was delicious. And then she would have no cookie dough when she thought she had like, tubs of it ready to go 
All right, I'm looking right here. I'm going to do vanilla, and I need one tablespoon of vanilla. And I went ahead and did not pre-measure this out. So let's do one tablespoon of vanilla. And there we go. Okay, put that back in there. Okay, we're moving on, and we're going to do five cups of flour. I just use um, all-purpose flour, so five cups of flour, and that's all going to go right in there. Try to get all that in there. And, Mom, I see that you're online. I hope you're liking the stories I'm telling about you. And um, so right now we're going to do a teaspoon and a half, one and a half teaspoons of both baking soda and salt. So one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and salt. I'm going to start with the salt. All right, that's half. And that's one for the salt. And now for the baking soda. And like I said, we're going to bake these. And while we're baking these, I'm going to talk about some other things and take some calls and that type of thing. So if you'd like to call in, I would love to hear from you. And you have the link right there in the comments to call me on Zoom. You're going to actually go to a waiting room. And I'm going to bring people over one at a time. When you do it, just so you know, there's going to be a delay. The YouTube video is delayed by about 10 seconds. So when you get on with me, and I'm just stirring in the salt and the um, baking soda just a little bit. So it's not all clumped in one area. Uh, anyways, if you can do me a favor, make sure that you have the volume off on the YouTube when we talk on Zoom, if you call in with a question. And you're going to do that in the lower left corner of the YouTube window. There will be a little speaker icon. you got to click that to get a slash through it to mute it when you want to talk to me. Okay, so for this first part, I'm going to sit there and just use a hand mixer. I usually use my hands, but I need them for other things. So I'm just using a hand mixer right now just to get everything combined. The reason I'm not putting the chocolate chip cook the chocolate chips in here, I'm gonna actually move this over here so I can talk. The reason I'm not putting the chocolate chips in yet is the hand mixer, or even if you use a um, tabletop mixer, it will actually break up the chocolate chips, which is not what you want. So we're doing a little hand mixing to get everything into the consistency we want. And while I'm doing this, I'm looking. Oh, Jim, yeah, the problem with being on a boat is the freezer space. I actually do have the freezer space, but I don't have my freezer turned on, mostly because I've only had one charter since New Year's. And during between Christmas and New Year's, my um solar panel controller went out i didn't have anything in the freezer at the time because i normally only put like ice during a charter and a few other things but in order to save energy i turned my uh, freezer off because i needed to get that controller and it was christmas time and i had to wait till i got back to grenada when it was delivered okay so that's good enough. I'm going to still have to hand mix it in a minute. But as my mom knows, us kids used to love eating these. I don't know about you guys. I find it funny because I have guests come on board and they talk, you know, and I make different things. And I'm like, oh, can the kids have the spatulas? And they're like, oh, no, no. You know, they're going to get psilomela poisoning. And I'm like, really? And they're like, oh, yeah, you can't do that. I'm like, did, did you do it growing up? Oh, yeah, we did it growing up all the time. No problem. I'm like, did you ever get sick? No, nope, we never got sick. And I'm like, you know, one plus one. And I'm like, okay, so they can have it. Oh, no, no, they can't have it because they might get sick. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So right now I'm opening up two bags of semi-sweet chocolate chips. 
I prefer the Nestle one or the yeah the Nestle Toll House ones, but sometimes you take what you can get. Uh, won't make that much of a difference. But two bags of these suckers, and in they go. Boom, just like that. And into the Grumpy Joe's go. All right. Now I've already washed my hands, so don't worry about that. But the first thing we got to do, got to get the hands dirty. And we're going in and we're just mixing all these chocolate chips into the cookie dough. Oh, yeah. That is a lot of cookie dough. And, Jim, if you don't have the uh, space, you can just do what I do eat all the cookies right now. <laughs> I told everybody I've got about five or six boats that I'm hanging out with here in St. Lucia. And I told them all, tonight we're having a cookie party. And they're like, really? I'm like, absolutely. And they're like, you don't like your own cookies? I'm like, I like them a lot. That's the problem. If I don't have a cookie party with all you guys coming over and having cookies, not that they were complaining, but I will eat all these cookies. And that's, let's just say that's a lot of swimming to do to get rid of that many cookies going into the body all right so i don't know how much you can see right here but just working it out and as always you have the website right there on the screen svguidinglight.com and actually any social media you want me on try svguidinglight.com on that media because i use that for everything okay Got a boat going by outside. So I'm just getting all this together. Okay, we're almost there. Need more chocolate chips on the top or bottom, whatever you call that right there. Trying to get a good mixture of chocolate chips. Now, as good as this recipe is, and the ingredients are important to get right, but you're going to find out in a little bit the important part, the very important part, is the timing of the cooking and everything. And we'll go through that. So we're going to do this video all the way through the cooking of one of these. Okay, so before I wash my hands, I'm going to go ahead and make some balls. So we're just making balls about like that. Not a big deal. And just putting, I'm going to do a dozen on each cookie sheet. And I'm going to do two cookie sheets. That way I have a second one ready to go. Normally, I would, you know, ball up all these and just have the balls in there so it's easier later on. But I'm going to get my hands washed so I can do some other things with you guys. But just making the balls. That one's a little big. Take a little chunk out. No problem. There we go. All right. I really appreciate all you guys joining me for these YouTube lives. Um, like I said, I'm going to do them every two weeks. I'm hoping they become more and more popular. This is my second cooking one. I did two weeks ago, I did the banana bread one, and I've already had a couple other cooking requests, but I don't want this always to be cooking because it's, you know, for the most part, I'm really a travel and cruising um, type of website and that type of thing, but I do love to cook, and cooking is part of living aboard. And I love board games. So one time I'm going to do an entire YouTube live about board games and probably bring on a couple of my friends that are big board gamers too. And we're not talking Monopoly or Clue or anything like those. Those are fun games. But the games I'm talking about are, you know, I, like I tell people, I've got about two dozen games on here that most people have never heard of. Um, Settlers of Catan is becoming one of those that people have heard of. So that one doesn't even count anymore. And I've had a lot of guests really enjoy that game too. So just working on the making these in balls. My mom had a request for next week and I liked it, or two weeks from now, and I like it. I also want to hear if you guys have any requests. But two weeks from now, unless things change, I'm going to do uh, the YouTube live about basically what life is aboard a boat, what it's like. Um, maybe, you know, talk about how things are different on a bow and that type of thing. I'm thinking a lot of people would find that kind of interesting. Maybe even doing a little walk through the boat type of thing, but I may 
wait on that. I'm not sure. But anyway, so that's the idea for next week. If you have another idea of something you would like to see or talk about, um, let me know. I, I love suggestions. And I'm going to have some guests at different times also. And I'm working with one, a former guest that's come twice, and she does a motivation type of stuff for her clientele. And I thought it would be a lot of fun. I've got another cookie sheet over here that I'm putting these on. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to chat with her, you know, just motivation. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that I say all the time, you know, don't, don't let fear stop you from doing something because usually it's the fear of the unknown that stops more people than anything actually bad happening. You know, you just got to get out there and do it. And the other saying I have is experience is a thing you gain right after you needed it. So, you know, think about that. Everything in life, you people can tell you all they want and they can you can do this, you can do that. But until you experience it, you don't have the experience for that particular thing, whether that means sailing in, you know, 30 plus knots of wind, you can read about it, but until you're out there in that and you know what it's like, when you come back safely into port, which 30, 40 knots of wind, it's very easy to come back safe. It's not the funnest to be out there, but um, once you come back to port, you have the experience of what that is like. So, like I said, Experience is a thing you get right after you needed it. Okay, I'm almost, I need to do six more of these. And then we'll pop some in the oven and we'll start talking on some other stuff here. And hopefully some of y'all making some comments. If you make some comments there on the YouTube live comment, I will respond to those in a minute. Oh, man. These do look good. I'm going to try to resist. Normally, normally I can't help myself and I pop a couple of these in my mouth raw just because I love this cookie dough so much. So, anyways, still got three more after this one and then we'll get that in the oven. Okay. And so what else can I tell you? Uh, that's all. I've got a little list over there of things I wanted to talk to you about. Those are a lot of them. Again, like I said, um, look at that link on the YouTube Live with the Zoom, and you should be able to just click on that, and it'll take you straight to the waiting room, and I will be able to take some live calls from people. And those of you who join me later, my name's Captain Shane, and we are making my mom's chocolate chip cookies. And I am uh, svguidinglight.com. That's my website. So I'm going to sit here and wash my hands. And what I'm using right here, if you can see this, this is actually my salt water pump. I've got a foot pedal on it. And this is kind of the little things that two weeks from now we'll talk about. But it saves your fresh water. As long as you're not in a harbor that is dirty, it's pulling seawater directly out of the ocean. And that saves me fresh water. And then I rinse the dishes with fresh water after everything's clean. I'm going to use my towel out here to dry my hands. Oh, there we go. Okay. You like the haircut? I don't know if you can see it, but directly behind me, and Maribella Sue cut my hair for me. She's a former hairdresser, and man, do I feel better. Okay. Into the oven it goes, and we're doing it for 11 minutes. And that's key, 11 minutes. When we pull it out in 11 minutes, I'm going to show you what they look like, and I guarantee they're going to look like they're not done, and that's where the mistake comes. A lot of people will keep them in until they look like they're done, and then they're going to be overcooked. So we're going to do it until they are ready to go. I'm going to move this over here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So what kind of comments do we have here? Okay, <laughs> so my mom corrected me. She said it's 20 dozen cookies that she makes at one time. 18 eggs is her recipe and multiply everything 
uh, what would that be by oh, more than four so anyways lot 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 let's see lots of milk on board from Jim which we always have the box milk down here in the Caribbean as you know Michael you're being a naughty boy but I appreciate your commenting on my balls there thank you <laughs> and and apparently my dad still gets in the freezer for the cookie dough so um, nothing really changes oh um, Jim the temperature is at 375 degrees I had it pre warmed before I started this okay I'm jumping over to zoom if we have anybody we don't have anybody in the waiting room so I'm gonna come on back over here so if anybody would like to do a zoom call I'm gonna put the link again and the link should be showing up you should be able to just click that and it will move you into my waiting room of the zoom I'd love to hear from anybody any questions you have or if you want to just chat with everybody that'd be great as we wait for the cookies to get done again just click the zoom uh, link on the let's see it's on that side on the YouTube live chat which is right over there in the meantime I want to show you because I've got to promote stuff the guiding light store which has just been started I appreciate everybody's help at the uh, store come on by and oops let's see what do I got okay so we got the store is not working right for me okay so we got the uh, t-shirts this is the sailing shirt which says you can't change the direction of the wind but you can adjust the trim of your sails we got the monkey shirt which says never be afraid to try something new experts made the Titanic amateurs made the arc think about that one the new shirt and this one I'm looking for pre-orders on if I get 10 pre-orders I will actually make them and because it's a pre-order you can sit there and choose any color of shirt you want so keep that part in mind and I really like this one I hope a lot of people order it because I want one myself I really like this brown uh, they call it the espresso shirt I, I also like the cardinal shirt but it goes great on a lot of shirts darker shirts are gonna be better because of the white lettering but anyways and we do have women's shirts in all three of these designs so if you want to get a woman's shirt you need to pre-order those and if I get enough orders for each label I will order those and then of course we have the cookbook cookbook itself which this recipe is in so I really 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 appreciate it if you would buy that go to the store if you have any questions just um, contact me through the website you'll find uh, contact page and my email again svguidinglight.com let's see we have one person that is over in the zoom so we're gonna let my mom I assume come in but it says it's my mom and dad we are waiting for them to join and we have about six minutes left on the cookies before they need to come out mom how are you doing hi Shane how are you I'm good how am I doing with your cookie I recipe just turned you off pardon how am I doing with your cookie recipe you're doing good now I can't see you can you see me I can see you you're doing fine the reason you can't see me is because my webcam only can use one program at a time and I have it on the live so I it got won't you. come on for the zoom okay but Anyways, did you have a comment or anything? And did you want to say anything? No, just okay. watching. Well, I appreciate it, and I appreciate you popping over here in Zoom. I'm hoping other people come on over too. And I'm gonna say goodbye and get back and see if some more people come before I take them out okay. in just under six minutes. But the timing is the key, isn't it, Mom? It is. So it is. We'll, I'll show everybody what that looks like when they're ready to come out. Okay. Do you I have wrapping you paper to, to put later, them on? Okay? All right. Bye bye. Okay.
Oh, you know what, people? I apologize about that. I think I screwed up, and you could not see my mom. I screwed that one up. I That was my fault. I forgot to hit this one button. So that was my mom. You didn't get to see her. Um, I'd like someone else to call in so we can try this uh, Zoom call-in thing because I worked really hard to get it set up, but I hit the wrong button, darn it. All right. Anyway, so the Zoom is on the YouTube live chat, so go ahead and hit that. We have another just under five minutes before we can pull them out, so we have time for another call. If anybody wants to help me out, that would be great. And in the meantime, um, please let me know about any subjects you'd like these YouTube lives to be about. Again, for the most part, they're going to be about cruising, boat life. They're going to be about travel, whether that is just travel in general or a specific location. You know, either way, travel and cruising. And then, of course, I'm going to keep doing cooking shows because I like doing those. And then more or less anything that I want to talk about. I've got board games over on this side that I was looking at that, like I said, I want to talk about those sometime. So um, I see what you're saying, Jim, not a problem. But anyways, you're just going to have to listen to me babble on until we get someone, until we are ready for the cookies. And we are looking at 345. And again, the timing is key on these things. I can't wait to bring these out of the oven to show you all what they look like because they are definitely going to look like they're not ready to be done. And outside, can you see that? Usually it's too bright, but you can actually see the shore and the cliff right there. I went lionfish hunting and put a video up a while back and put a video up. So that's actually kind of cool where we got rid of the invasive species of lionfish. So I hope you check out that video. And I am working on my travel video for Trinidad. I know I keep saying that, but I'm actually really close to finishing it. I'm hoping the premiere will be on Sunday, I don't know, noon, sometime, sometime in the afternoon. You know, I'll, once it's ready and loaded up, I'll set the premiere. I'm hoping to have an approval from my friend in Trinidad so he can tell me what he thinks before I send it out, but we will see. So I hope you check out that video. And that's gonna be the Trinidad travel video. And it will have carnival in it because I, that was my big thing this year. I wanted to do carnival. And we're you know, still trying to get the Caribbean opened up. I just heard a rumor today that the airport in St. Lucia is going to open up June 4th. I don't know if there's going to be restrictions on that or if there's going to be quarantining once you get here. I don't know, but that is very good news. I've got a guest that... I can call as soon as I get more information and let him know about that. We have two more minutes on the cookies before we can bring them out. But I'm very excited to have the Caribbean open up some, do some charters. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any traveling this off season. I'll probably go back to the States, spend more time with friends and family and that type of thing, maybe go to Hawaii or somewhere within the U.S., but I just don't think it's going to work to do any international traveling, which this year I wanted to do the Amazon, the Guyanas, all three of the Guyana countries. Two of them are countries, one's a territory, and then the Amazon of the Brazil is what I wanted to do this year, but the, it's spiking there. I don't want to get stuck there, that type of thing. So anyways, again, we do have the Zoom chat if people want to chat about the anything, but also the cookies and travel and life aboard. Did y'all see the bird that just went by? He just flew by. I had like three of them chirping all morning and you could hear him so loud. It was awesome. So we got a minute left on the cookies and I'm going to move over to there in just a minute. I see some people signing on and signing off. I hope you guys stay to see what the cookies look like. And we got 40 seconds, so I'm going to move the camera back over here. And unfortunately, I'm not tech enough to know how to use something besides my laptop. But we got 20, 25 seconds before we are ready to go. So 20 seconds. 
19, 17, can you see that? 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, I'm excited to bring these out. Okay, and the timer, there we go. All right, we're ready to bring these out. I'm gonna bring these out, and I'm gonna put the next batch in. Okay, now, the thing I wanna show you, this is what they look like when they come out. They're puffy, they look raw, they look like they're not ready to go. This is perfect. Just set them there, and we're gonna let them sit there for seven minutes. So I've got my timer back on. We're gonna let them go for another seven minutes, and they're actually gonna continue cooking right there on the cookie sheet. And so when I'm making these, which I have a whole bunch more to make, when I'm making these, I actually set for seven, and then I'll do five, which, no, four. Can't do math all of a sudden. Uh, seven minutes, and then I'll do four to bring the next batch out. But once these sit on here for seven minutes, I will simply put them on a uh, cooling rack, and then the next batch will come out. And I'm going to be doing this about another six times on top of what's already in there. I figure I'm making eight dozen cookies, which should make all the boats around me extremely happy. So let's see what we got. Any comments? We have a couple. <laughs> I'm glad you like them, Mom. I'm hopefully doing you justice for your cookies. I'm going to give you one last time. If anybody wants to put a comment on the YouTube live comments that are over there, at least on mine, it's over there. And if you want to call me on Zoom, that is set up and you can give me a call. And if not, I hope you all check out the store for me, the cookie, the cookbook and the t-shirts. I would love it if people ordered some of those shirts, especially the new shirt. It's a really cool offer that you can sit there and get whatever color you want because once they're ordered, it's whatever shirts I order. That's the color. And like I said, if we get enough orders, we can order those. And I want one. So everybody order a new T-shirt for me so I can get one too. <laughs> um, right down below, we got the website, SV Guiding Light. I'm going to check over real quick. Oh, my mom wanted me to let you know she put some on brown um, wrapping paper or brown, um, the old shopping bags is what she uses to absorb the grease, but I like the grease. It makes it add, adds flavor. <laughs> okay, we got no one else on the Zoom chat, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I do hope that everybody, before we go, I'm going to do it one more time. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. If I can get enough subscribers, I can start making a little bit of money on the ads and that type of thing. So you would really help me out. If you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. The bell helps you out so you know when new things come out by me. And then hit the like button right now. So, because the algorithms and all that, it all based on likes and comments and all that. So hit that for me. That way other people see that you liked it and it'll boost me up. And hopefully I get more and more people that will watch these things. In the meantime, before I'm going to check over real quick to see if we have anybody else on Zoom, we don't. I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, may you have fair winds, following seas. I'm Captain Shane. I look forward to having you again in two weeks when we talk.